Maine. And welcome to Winnipeg. I don't know if you can see it out there because they're very, very small, but there is tiny little snowflakes coming down. Yeah, I was outside talking to my neighbor earlier this morning and I was mentioning that, uh, you know, he, he was talking about how cold it was yet. Like, like right now it's minus 4.3. It was colder the early, earlier this morning. And uh, I have concluded that this snow we're looking at, it could be here to stay for the winter. This is, this is the beginning of the... How's that saying goes? Oh, that was Winston Churchill that said this is not the end or yada yada yada. Well, this is... <laughs> anyway, uh, I guess I can't make up any witty little saying that sounds like uh, Winston Churchill about this is the beginning of the snow. <laughs> anyway, what are we going to do here this morning? Well, it seems to me that when I ended up the last episode when we were working on this, not the episode from last night where we opened the box, but uh, I think I said something about <clears throat> I'm going to put on the macro lens and we're going to take a look right here. And I, I guess the thing to do will be to move everything up a little bit again, very carefully. And then I can just get right in here. And we'll put the macro lens on and I do have to remember when I stand up and reach over to grab something you know don't catch my arm on stuff now I, I know the thought is well why not have everything on this side of the model the problem is it's uh, it's in the road then <laughs> okay uh, yeah, I, I, I think that's about it for the news for this morning. Uh, uh, let, let's just sort of get right into it and see if we can uh, get something done here yet before it's time to cut it off. Uh, once again, today's episode might be a little shorter. We'll see how it goes. I'm planning on doing another, uh, another uh, segment on the box opening. I think it'll be part four. And... Uh, We'll just open another one of the big boxes and try and look at look at the pieces. Oh, uh, if if there's any, you know, like I'm I'm not really zooming in, and you you can't really see anything really really sharp and clear. But if there's anything in particular <clears throat> that somebody would like to see uh, zoomed in, uh, you know, with with the macro lens or whatever, and uh, you know, just let me know. Uh, what what it is you'd like to see, and if it works out, I'll, I'll be happy to do it. Uh, there's you know these, these box opening episodes that I'm doing in the evening. It's it seems to be no big problem. Uh, so yeah, if there's anything in particular that you wanted to see up close and sharp, uh, just let me know in the comments, and uh, I'll, I'll try and do it for you. Yeah. Anyway, let's uh, get ourselves recomposed here. Uh, and we're going to be looking right here. Okay, this is just sort of an afterthought here. I, I know I said we're going to move in and look right here, but I'm just wondering if maybe I might be able to get the camera in on coming into the side better if I turn everything like this and then shove the other end off the off the end of the table there. Okay. All right. Now what I can do is I can bring the the camera in and have it come in. Would, would that be better? Because I want to I want to be able to get a holder downer in from this angle, and another one from on from that angle. Um, okay. Let's let's just try that here. Okay, we still don't have the macro lens on. Now, I don't want to knock this off of the deck here. I want to just pull this back if I can. Now, if... Oh... 
wind if I should maybe get the holder downer here very carefully very slowly okay that seems to be staying there it's pretty much in the right place now is that little rangefinder thingy gonna s s stop it from going right down or is it gonna okay I'm gonna have to come in oh careful oh I think I bent the hook uh, maybe not too bad okay yeah that okay come over like this okay that thing's in the way maybe I'm gonna have to take this out very carefully and come in from from right here so I want to be able to get my applicator in there to, to put the glue on I'm gonna have to push it up I didn't glue these in so they can be removed. Now that'll, that'll give me a little bit more wiggle room you might say. Okay what I've done is I've I've removed the bottom two rails where this where this fair lead goes and the bottom two rails where, the, where this one goes because the post is the stanchion is going to come right on the corner here on this one but while I was doing all this I had the thought how would it be if instead of doing this side first I do the other side first because the other side is going to be facing towards the outside of the case this is this is the side that we're going to be looking in on and we will see this entire railing and I was wondering would would I not maybe be better off taking and for for instance <clears throat> one one section of rail fits nicely from here to here all right and 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 it and it looks like if we adjust it just right and and you know a, a, a stanchion could be here and and nothing no no railing at all over the fair lead and the other stanchion which would be this one would be right here and then have something how how do they fit then between okay so let's 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 say then i was to have a piece of railing that would go from from here to here and and nothing here nothing here um that might be the easiest way to go and and forget about trying to have railing over top of the fair leads now i think on the real ship they probably did i mean you know somebody trying to f feed a rope through here or something is he's gonna he's gonna want the safety of having a, a railing there but on the other hand i don't know um I, I <laughs> for a minute there I thought maybe what I'll do is I just won't bother with the railing I, <laughs> but that's what makes these ships is the, is the nice delicate railing all the way along um, this, this is just a thought uh, because I'm having I'm having quite a time uh, this is this is where California Paul was probably trying to explain to me that um, th this is is uh, very finicky now I can't remember exactly what he said but that, that's that's what he meant um, yeah it was okay let's push stop again and to make matters worse I look out my window and this is what I see when our friends Don and Bridget came across the bridge this morning it was so dark I could hardly see them 
But you know, in a week from today, we're going to be setting the clocks back. So they'll probably be coming across in the daylight. Uh, that is if they keep, you know, coming at this same time. Uh, I, I don't think that because they, there's a time change, they're going to suddenly start coming later, an hour later. I think they'll probably still be coming at the same time, you know, Winnipeg time, that is. Uh, anyway, uh, we did a little later get to see the sunrise. Um, just barely, but we got to see it. Yeah, but that was this morning. I am getting no place here today. A while ago, I couldn't find my pizza knife. And I thought, well, where could it be? And then I remembered, oh yeah, I used it back at the, in the back room model table to cut the tape. Okay, at least I didn't completely lose it. Anyway, here we go. I hope this isn't uh, too hot. I just took it out of the microwave. It, it, it shouldn't be. We're not, uh, we're not gonna make a big production over this. We're just gonna do one or two ooms and uh, then we're gonna carry on and try and do some more railing. Like I say, we're not getting anywhere. Okay, so here is what's been happening. Uh, and I so very badly need to call her quits here for today, or I'm not going to get today's episode uploaded in time. I have uh, gone all the way from the stern here to right here, and I've been doing it, uh, you know, cutting, cutting lengths and putting them down. It, lo it looks pretty good. We don't have time to look at it right now. We'll look at it tomorrow after everything's dried a little bit. Maybe I'll get this one more piece on later today. Um, all being well, we're going to have another box opening tonight. Uh, all being well. So, uh, oh, the sun came out. Yeah, the sun came out. Crazy weather. That's okay. I don't mind it when, you know, that kind of crazy. All right. Thanks for watching, everybody. All being well, we're going to see you tomorrow. Now, I almost forgot something here. I guess I could have put it in with the box opening later, but I think I told Gabe that I'd uh, put it in this episode, so I uh, guess I better do that. Anyway, look at the caption underneath. Uh, <laughs> so you want to sail in a U-boat. <laughs> yeah, now this is more of Gabe's handiwork. I believe he actually drew that. So, uh, yeah, <laughs> thank you, Gabe. That's pretty good. <laughs>